Hello and welcome back to the Roblox Studio Brookhaven tutorial series and this video is a highly recommended video that I've been working on for weeks and I've finally, finally been able to figure it out. So this is going to be the avatar editor. I have I've managed to work out a script that works. So yeah, let's just get into it. So first thing you want to do is go to start a GUI, add a screen GUI and name it maybe avatar editor, that's what I'll do. And then add in a frame and obviously customize it as much as you want. Then you want to add in a title if you want and a scrolling GUI just in case you want to add more than just the one or two so that you can scroll. I'm just going to at the moment add in, I might do an image button actually, that might be quite nice. Um, I'm going to do 150 by 150. Okay, so we are going to add in a local script and we are going to type script.parent.mouse.1 click connect function player. Then you're going to do game.players.local player dot shirt dot shirt template right make sure you get the spelling right because even the slightest you know misspelling and you and it won't work for that bit and this bit to come so you're gonna write wanna write that and then dot dot and then the ID okay this is my this is my ID if you want to use it So what you what you wanna um, just if you want to get your own ID, you've got to go to on the Roblox page, avatar shop, choose whatever clothing, it has to be clothing, and then in the top right, on like the URL there, like the URL I'm not actually sure what it's called, it'll be www.roblox.com slash catalogue slash the ID you need and then slash the name I think. So this is yeah, this is what you need in there and so okay, we'll just test with that one we'll just test with that one we can always add more so um actually before we test anything we need to add in a text button that can be our opener avatar editor okay i'm actually just going to take the this this what we used here so I'm just going to copy that and we're going to put it into into a local script here so menu button obviously we have to identify a few things so local menu button equals script dot parent dot text button and then local value equals zero. Of course, yeah, no, of course, um, local frame equals script dot parent dot frame. I think that should be it. So we'll just make sure this frame is not visible. And we'll press play and we'll, just, we'll, we'll give it a go, we'll give it a go, see if it works. Okay, okay, we have an error, we have an error, that's okay. Text button isn't what isn't a part of it apparently. Text button. Menu is script dot parent dot text button. This should this should work, this should work, but Oh wait, no never mind, I think it's because here we go. So we just, we just got to do get rid of the menu button dot anything, and then that should hopefully work. Okay, we've loaded up, and we are just going to it's going to test this out. So, okay, this works, which is good. This is good. Not the main bit, but that works. Okay, and now if we click this. 
Okay, we, we, we have... Okay, it's fine, we have an error. Sir is not a, is not a member. Okay, interesting. So, uh, we need to add in a character here. Dot character. Dot. Okay, we'll, we'll give that, we'll give that another. This is why you should always watch right through the video, just in case. Okay, this this works, and then we click this. Okay, we're going to have to we're gonna have to figure something out. There is another error, but it's fine. We're just going to change that to four eight because I believe that has worked in the past. But we'll we'll just we'll just see what's what's happened. There we go. There we go. Here we go. It it has worked. I think the best way to do it is so I think sometimes it changes to get it to add in a block and then add in a shirt like this and then just put in put in uh, so we had Six nine at the end, and it has changed it to three four eight. So sometimes it changes the ID. So make sure you put it into a dummy before you use it, and then. And now we are just going to do the pants really quickly. Okay, since we know how to do it, we're just going to add this. Okay, and as you can see, it has changed, so we're just going to copy that, so we can delete that. Go into this, add in a, add it just actually, just want to duplicate it, and now we just want to put this into here, and obviously change that, and that, and dot dot, and obviously, Change this to pants dot pants template. Okay, and um, we'll, 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 we'll skip that again. Okay, so we spawn in avatar editor. Okay, so we have this, this is the first one. There we go. And now we have the second one. And there we go. The very nice outfit. Very nice. Okay. Obviously, to get to, you know, use your own outfits you've got to use different IDs and that's fine so yeah this was a highly recommended video I've managed to do it thank you all very much for the rec recommendations I take them all so yeah I would say I'd say this video deserves a good amount of views and a good amount of likes and I'd say from through researching I would deserve a few amount of subscribers so if you could subscribe that would, that would mean, mean the world, so thank you if you already have, or if you are going to, or if you've just done it right now as you're watching the video, and thank you for viewing, and thank you if you are going to like, or if you have liked, thank you again. Okay, yeah, so this was a highly recommended video, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.